My name is Kunihira Patrick, the founder of the Pillars of Africa Children's Ministry. The Pillars of Africa Children's Ministry is a ministry that takes care of vulnerable children in our community. I have 45 children. When I first came, they didn't have beds. They didn't have sponsors. They needed money for school. So we're able to help them. Um, our organization's been growing, but it's still pretty small. I Really what I like about the pillars is the personal touch here where they have love for the children. It's not just a business. It's a place where children are cared for and they're given a great deal of attention. They're, they treat them like they're their own real children and they really are their children. They only have two biological children, but Patrick said these children are all theirs, and the children know that this is their dad and mom. Most of the children come from very vulnerable homes where some parents have died from AIDS or from other diseases, even malaria affects Africa. The children get malaria often, so part of the expense of raising these children is medical care. So even after we sponsor, there are still medical needs. So I ask you if, you, if you love the children of the world, to come and join this organization. Even in small ways will help. Even their books are so expensive and as they get higher up in their education, the education costs more and more. Uganda is not like America where everybody gets a free education. Only the people who are blessed and helped can go to school. My name is Rhoda. I want to be a doctor when I grow up. Hello, my name is Samuel. I'm in primary four. I want to become a mechanical engineer when I grow up. So I think these children deserve a chance. They are smart kids. They work hard and they love God. They worship God on a regular basis. Every day they read their Bibles, they pray, they go to worship services. I came up with a solution. We all know about the solution. It is that Jesus died for our sins. He took the punishment for us. So. They worship God on Sundays for like three hours and they do outreach programs. The 45 children they are all in school. They have a lot of needs that they need in their lives, but we thank God that whatever they have right now makes them happy than before. Uh, most of the children, they don't have parents and others don't have families. But when they join us, they become our own children. We love them. I mean, um, we take them as our own children. of Africa has helped many children. And they do outreach programs, they help the poor families, even their parents that are alive still that might be sick or weak, they go and visit them and they pay a very minimal amount because they're very, very poor in this part of Africa. That's why we call upon uh, many friends to come and join us at our ministry and also we call upon the volunteers to come and join our team to work with us. I really, what I really love, again, is the love that they give to the children, the love of God. An emotional balance. I see them growing. 
they're taking classes all the time, even the adults, to learn how to be better caregivers to the children, like trauma classes, because most people in Uganda have experienced one type of trauma or another. So the biggest things I see as problems here are lack of education because of lack of funding, diseases like malaria that kill, and lack of medical care for especially women, but any, any sick person. And then with the children, because the parents die young or they have overburdens, they're unable to care for the children in kind ways. They're not educated on how to be parents. So as much as they want to help, what they really need is uh, education and financial aid. And then, of course, the spiritual aspect along with emotional. I love coming here because the children are a joy. They're a lot of fun. They accept me. They want to learn from me. They love the art that I bring and they love the love that I bring. I can't pass a child without kissing them. I just love the children of Uganda. I hope we can get more volunteers to come and share what they know. You don't have to be a brain surgeon to come and teach. You can teach home, home care, cooking, cleaning, um, nursing, anything that you know a little bit about, you could come, even if it's just bird watching, you could come and teach about the birds. You could teach about flowers, gardening, how to grow corn, because they even have land now that they've been given and they're starting to do some farming. As you can see on our website, we have a lot of projects that are running. Please, you can choose one of those to come and volunteer with us. If you have any dollar, it's going to make a difference in these children that we have. But it takes a lot more than just that to be able to send these children to school and even follow them into the universities. So for right now, we're working on sponsorships and we're working on making people aware of the need here in Uganda and in the Gayaza especially with the Pillars of Africa Children's Ministry. Thank you.